Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be changing out the bridge, this thing here, on my Heritage guitar. This is an H575. I've had it for about a year or just over a year now. Um, it's a great guitar, but I'm just getting intonation problems. That's where I can't adjust the length of each string to compensate for pushing down behind the fret. So for example, if I show you my tuner here, if I play the 12th fret, that's a G harmonic. And if I compare that to, you can see that's a lot sharper. Or you can hear that's a lot sharper as well. So hopefully by adjusting the length of each string, I can sort all of those problems out. Some strings are worse than others, but the G is pretty bad. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do this is by changing out that bridge, the wooden bridge, with something like this, well, specifically this. This is a metal tunomatic bridge. Um, I'm not sure what brand it is. It's fairly cheap, it costs about £30, something like that. So I can adjust each of the saddles here to individual lengths, and then hopefully I'll sort out the problem. The annoying thing is, because of the post spacing on this the bridge on this guitar, I can't just take it off and drop it on. I'm going to have to sand down this wooden bit of the bridge here to match the radius on this guitar. Basically, I'll be putting sandpaper onto the guitar top and then sanding it down so it matches. Before I do that, though, I'm going to measure the height of each string and the length of each string. So if it all goes wrong, then I can put this bridge back exactly where it was. And at the end of this video I'll be doing a comparison between the wooden bridge that this guitar already has with the new metal one. So there's probably not going to be that much of a difference, maybe the metal one you'd suspect would be a bit brighter, but if it fixes the intonation issues I'll probably be keeping that one regardless. So I'm going to quickly run through the process I used to fit the new bridge. So first of all, remove the scratch plate for more room. Find the centre line down the middle of the original bridge. Take off the strings. Clean the fretboard if you want. I popped on some lemon oil. Uh, take off the original bridge. Find the height of the two outer strings so you can set the new bridge. Uh, find the centre line running down the middle of the guitar. Then pop on some sandpaper. That's 80 grit. It's felt back so it doesn't scratch the guitar top. Then transfer back on the two centre lines there. If you've got a bridge fitting jig, I'd use that as well so it keeps the bridge stable as you're sanding. And then as long as you're staying close to the two centre lines that you've marked, it should be fine. That took about 20 minutes of sanding there to get a reasonably good fit. You then match the original saddle locations onto the new bridge so you have a rough starting point and also set the height of the new bridge. Then I just mask and taped it on there. Um, pop on some new strings. There are 11 to 52s. I put on the two outside strings first as the new bridge had a slightly narrower string spread so I had to adjust the location of the bridge slightly there and then I just put on the rest of the strings. So finally, you have to set the intonation on your new bridge. So you do that simply by comparing the 12th fret harmonic with the fretted note at the 12th fret. So if the fretted note is sharp, when you compare it to that harmonic, you have to lengthen the string. And if the fretted note is flat, when you compare it to the harmonic, you have to shorten the string. And you do that by turning the little screws on the bridge itself. So here we have the finished bridge. There we go, it's not too bad. I probably could have sanded a tiny bit more for a slightly better fit, but it does exactly what I want it to do anyway, regardless. So if I just compare the G harmonic and fretted the intonation, it's pretty good. Well, a lot better than the original bridge. So they've even tried to compensate on the saddles on there, but you can't move them. And what I've come up with here, you can see it better in the pictures, but that's quite different to how it is set there. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, the only question is tonally, is there a difference? But what I have done 
before I fitted a new bridge, I recorded a little arrangement and a little improv, and I'll play something similar using the new bridge, and then see if you can hear if there's tonally if there's a difference or not.